Hello, so for this next video, I'm going to talk about the sun in the fifth house and what that means. So the fifth house is ruled by Leo, this ruled by the sun. So this is a very strong sun placement because, um, like I said, it's ruled, the sun is ruled by Leo and the fifth house is, is, is ruled by Leo as well. So um, it really enhances the Nays recreational life, love affairs, and just makes a very playful, jovial character. Um, it's also very good. The fifth house rules children, so it's a very good placement for um, having children and raising them. Um, but there can be some minor problems that occur with respect to the individual's ego as it can become inflated um, to a very dramatic point because of the Leo can sometimes, the shadow is to be a little bit narcissistic and, and think too highly of themselves and have a lot of like, yeah. So um, it also gives a child that is focused on having fun and expressing themselves. Because the fifth house is a house of fun. So it's also the house of creativity. It's a very freedom-oriented like, house. Like it's, it's all based on authentic, authentic self-expression. So these people are people that want to shine, right? Um, so, yeah, so like the child that it creates is, is typically a child that, that wants to be the center of attention, right? Um, and develops a, a strong perception of ego. So it's not, it's not necessarily bad, um, but yeah, you just have to watch, watch out for that over, overly pride, over pride, you know, too much pride. So what else? So it's a fire sign. So it makes the person fiery. It makes the person really want to go towards their goals. Um, and also the fifth house is, it's, it's, like I said, it's the house, the house of fun, of play, of partying. So you can imagine these people are usually people that like to party. They can make party animals. Um, and if there's malefics aspecting it, it can make it excessive, right? But otherwise, not necessarily. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just very fun people. Um, sometimes they can spend a lot of their income on different recreational activities. But if there are hard aspects of Mars or Neptune, they will... It can make people who drink a lot or even have substance abuse. So that's like a 90 or 180 degree angle to Mars or Neptune. Um, so also like it's linked to the love life. So these people can be people that have very vivid sexuality and a lot of partners and a constant feeling of falling in love, right? The fifth house is like that part of like love where it's like kind of like that initial phase. So it can create people who are promiscuous sometimes. So yeah, it's not like the most stable placement for long-term relationships, but a, a, a fifth house son will frequently change partners and flirt a lot. It's not always the most faithful. But these people are just very fun. The only advice is to be careful with inflated egoism. Um, the ego is a very important drive for evolution, but sometimes exercising humility is more helpful in order to understand the real meaning of the ego. Um, and really, you know, the, the Leo, the fifth house archetype is all about, it's not about like like a big lesson is learning to shine without an audience. So it's like, how can I like, like it's like by like creating on your own, like this is like, like to find yourself more, right? Authentic self-expression, like going deep within through art, through music, through fun, whatever it is to almost revive yourself, but also to really find yourself. So, yeah. So if there's anything you guys want to add, please leave a comment. Also, um, I would really appreciate the subscription. I, I really uh, want to get to 100 subscribers um, and keep growing my channel so I can keep teaching more stuff. Thanks so much. Bye.